Hi everyone. It's time for a live. A little bit late. I've been watching someone else's live feed myself. So tonight I am rhinestoning. This is my daughter's modern costume for her dancing. And she is a pirate, obviously. And I've got to do, make it look a bit more bling. So I've already put the rhinestones all down the front and all down the sides and a little bit on the netting. So I'm going to put a few on here. So while I'm doing this, does anyone have any questions? You want to ask me tonight? Oh, Josephina's back on. Hi, Josephina. In fact, I'm going to set up the iPad again so I can read your notifications so it's easier for me to see them. If the battery will last. I do have some other things to make tonight as well. Got Serena. I've just got some glue, some trim it glue. I put a little bit of this on, and we're just using five mil rhinestones in a gold colour to match the dress. Let's see where we want to put them. Got one of these pencils. Helps pick the rhinestones up. I think we're just going to dot some around. Just show she sparkles a little bit more on stage because she has a dance co uh, competition on Sunday reason why I'm a little bit late, I've been watching someone else's live feed but also Ellie hasn't gone to bed until late tonight because she's been practicing her ballet solo which she has on, twice on Sunday at two different competitions. So this is all part of me being a dance mum. Anyone else has any questions? I've got more things to do tonight. I'm just going to do put a few rhinestones on this and then we're going to get started on something else. I've got a couple of Jojo Sweet Life bows to do. I've got a couple of bow holders to make. I think we'll do those tonight. I love the dress. Thank you, Josephina. She loves it too. This is actually the second dress we've had. Um, but she's grown since we did our last competition in October. So I've had to buy the same dress, but in a bigger size. And the dress that she had previously, I didn't put any rhinestones on it. But now she's um, she's in what we call the open section because she's won a gold for her dance. She won first place, so she's now in open section. And we are now also doing some regional competitions. 
uh, which are a bit tougher and a bit more competitive and some people sp spend hundreds of pounds on their costumes and I just haven't got that kind of money. So we get a nice costume like this and then put a little bit of sparkle on it ourselves. So we're just going to stick a few on then I'll leave it to dry and we'll get on with some of the hair bows. Like I say, I do have a badge to make for someone else's com um, competition outfit as well. They're doing a song called Brother for Sale and they need a badge that says Best Brother but with Best crossed out and it says Worst instead. So I've got to make one of those, which means hand sewing the letters. So what I'm doing here is putting a little dab of this trimmic glue. It is waterproof. It says it's washable. Let it dry for 24 hours before washing. Gentle hand wash, 30 degrees. So we should be able to wash the costume after it's been stoned. It should help us sparkle a bit more on stage. Because she always felt like this costume was a bit plain. Even though there's some glitter in the velvet bits, she wanted a little bit more bling. So we'll just put a few of these rhinestones everywhere, then we'll get on to making hair bows. If you see me looking over there as well. I've got the new episode of the X-Files on the telly. I can't put the sound on because of the video, but if I'm looking over there, that's what I'm looking at. Not sure how many stones I've actually used so far. I bought a bag of a thousand and we've maybe used half a bag so far. Hopefully it won't look too bad when it's done. Have you been waiting for me to go live, Josephina? You seem to like my live channels at the moment, my live videos. Had a little bit of trouble at the weekend. I couldn't, well, Friday and Saturday. Um, might have even been Thursday. I couldn't get on. It wouldn't work at all. Every time I tried, it just froze. Needs another one there. You like to create design. <clears throat> I like to do anything with crafts. I like to put bling on things, make things sparkle. If I had a sewing machine, I probably would make um, costumes. But my sewing machine broke but yes I like to I like to make dresses I used to make Ellie dresses when she was a baby I used to make her 
cushions and baby blankets for a, for dolls. So I've put some rhinestones on there. Catching the light now. Kind of the effect that I'm wanting. Put a few on the panels of the skirt. And then we'll leave that to dry. And we'll get them with hair bows. So I've trimmed all this bit already, all the way along, and all the edges down here. Looks quite good, I'm quite happy with it. What do you like to make, Josephina? left to do then we'll get on with doing a hair bow I think also it was my birthday on Saturday and I did get I did get a glue gun a new glue gun and I haven't used it yet so I've just switched it on we're going to warm it up it smells new going to give it a go see how good it is okay put a few on this side count how many we use so we use the same amount one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen about nineteen okay Josephina, I said, do you like making crafts? What do you like to make? Do you make hair bows? Do you paint? Do you draw? What do you like to do?
it's always nice to have a hobby. When I was a child, I used to like to draw. Draw and paint. I used to make things all the time. I've covered all the dots. Let's see what we can do with these. Let's have a look. Oh, yes. What do you think? this on the radiator to dry okay so for my birthday oh I've dropped you again So many wires down here. And they're tangling on each other. Right. Okay. So for my birthday, I got a new glue gun. A Bosch glue gun and we're going to use it. We're going to use it now. So I have, I need to replace that actually to move it. So I have a bow here that I made a while ago, one of the Rainbow Jojos. We're going to Asa. I don't know what that means, Josephina. Going to Asa. Answer. So first pull through, it doesn't like it. <clears throat> Got a bit of leakage. Tidy some of this up. going to make one of these ones.
see if we can get this glue gone so it doesn't leak. the glue strong I'm using a stand from my old glue gun right so we're making one of the Jojo sweet life bows where um, it's using one of these rainbows and then it has all the little bows all around it, like this, stuck to them everywhere. So I need two of each colour, I think. It's two pink, two green, two yellow, orange, blue, purple. That's all the colours. So I started making these on one of the other videos I did. But I got bored of making all these tiny little bows. But now I need to finish them off for orders. So, I think, right. Just need some ribbons for the middles. <clears throat> You'll be able to watch the video after it's finished, Josephina. It will be uploaded after we've been live. I'm going to do live for maybe an hour. I do want some more people to come on though and ask me some questions maybe. So that's pink and purple. So hopefully this new glue gun won't leak. It's got its, um, my old glue gun was cordless, so you could take it out and just use it. This one has a cord. Seems like it might leak a little bit. I don't know if I've done. You have to sort of assemble it together. Not sure if I've done it right. It's too hot to take it apart now, so we'll have to see. So, to make all these little bows, we get a short piece of ribbon, fold it in half, glue it on the strip and the middle and then we get pieces like this we folded it and then we do the concertina folds to get the little bows and now we have to put the middles on So 
So I've got to figure out how much pressure is best for this new glue gun. Because it comes out pretty fast. It feels like a nice gun. So I'm going to try and do a live video as much as I can. I can't do one tomorrow because my friend is having a baby shower um, and Ellie has dancing so we'll be at the baby shower and then dancing. So I think it'll be too late when I get home. But Wednesday I should be able to do a live video and I've got lots of orders coming up. I've got lots of new fabric that I want to make, some school bows and some Valentine's Day bows. So we'll be doing that maybe Wednesday or Thursday. Hi to anyone new watching. making a big boutique bow with smaller little bows all over it. I'm just putting the middles in some of the bows at the minute. What colour's next? Yellow. Made some tiny pinch bows. We're now wrapping the centres around them with my new Bosch glue gun. Got any comments or questions? <clears throat> anything at all? You want to just chat? Doesn't have to be about bows. Can be about anything. Just comment. We can have a nice chat. just been putting rhinestones on one of my daughter's um, dance costumes. She has a dance competition on Sunday. She has two dance competitions on Sunday. She has her ballet dance. I do actually have to adjust the straps on her tutu. So I may do that live on video one day. She's got a gorgeous pink tutu. The last time we danced was October, November, and she has grown. So I need to adjust the straps because it's leaving red marks on her arms at the minute. So I'll be adjusting a tutu. And I have a badge to make for someone else's costume. Some yellow done. Bows can be glued with cold. Do you mean cold glue, not cold tail? You could use a super glue or a fabric glue. Um, I use hot glue because it sets straight away, but you could use a fabric glue. You just need to leave it to dry. These can be worn as soon as it's glued because the, the glue sets. Pretty much straight away. Your English is very good, Josephina. I understand it. It's quite hard to um, type and comment. But you're doing really good.
So I hope to get this made within the next <clears throat> 15 minutes so you can see what the finished bow looks like. They're just so fiddly. They take so much time. Maybe I need to advertise that and go in live a little bit more so we get more watchers. Because at the minute, Josephina, it's just me and you. So I also noted today on my channel that we are nearly up to 3,000 subscribers. I think we're about 2,700. So I'm really excited about getting to 3,000. I'm thinking about doing more vlogs. I've got something coming up. Um, <clears throat> on the 22nd of February I'll be at a business showcase which is local to us and there is a designated area for local handmade businesses and I have a, a, a display, a table there and I was going to um, make hair bows live for people to come and have a look but apparently the tables don't have electric so I'll not be able to take my glue gum <clears throat> could probably still take some bows and just make the actual bow and not finish them off with clips but I was maybe going to vlog about it do some um, videos and pictures and clips maybe do a live while I'm there I'm there all day so that's the 22nd of February just see how we feel because when I do live I don't mind doing live when I'm on my own but when I'm out in public I feel a bit silly talking to my phone it doesn't feel very natural at the minute But I'll have a go. Maybe film some short clips and put them into a video. I missed half hour already. Don't worry, you've not missed too much, Kathy. Did you see the movie Moana? Yes, I have seen Moana. It's my daughter's favourite movie at the minute. 
I really love it. You've not really missed too much, Kathy. I've um I've only just started making this bow. I've actually been putting some rhinestones on one of my daughter's costumes. And then we've just got on to making this. So what I'm doing is I've got one of the rainbow Jojo bows that I've made. Didn't make this on the video, I've done it previously. And I'm now making lots of small bows that are going to be stuck all over it. Jojo has these in the, her shop, in, in Claire's accessories as a limited edition sweet life I think the range is called. But I thought well I've got some rainbow bows that aren't selling now because everyone's got them so we'll revamp them and make them into uh, sweet life look-alike bows. So we have the 8 inch rainbow Jojo And I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve small, tiny pinch bows. They're like the ones on the Velcro baby bow video. And I'm going to stick these all over. I need the small rhinestones as well. Let's just get those. I've just got some half pearl beads and we're going to use these I'm not sure if I have another box if someone needs in we're going to use these to stick in the middle of these I'd use bigger ones on my last videos, but no, better do. This one is some green. I don't know if I've got any green. There's one. Got glue on my finger. What do we want? Blue. Really hard to pick these up with long fingernails. Sorry, I just got a notification on my phone then. I'm using my phone to film on. Can I watch it again in the hole later? Rainbow is beautiful. Definitely wanting to make tiny bows to put on big bows. So glad to catch this part. Yes, as soon as I've um, finished going live, it uploads it to my um, videos. So <clears throat> you should be able to watch it back as many times as you want to when it's finished. So ask me as many questions as you want while the video is live. Because the comments while it's live disappear. But obviously I can answer them and the answers will be there. So what I'm doing right now is I'm getting some half pearl beads that match the colours of the little bows that I'm going to pop on. And we're going to put these in the centres of the bows. Need to make sure I get some matching colours. Just need lilac now. I 
that too good. I'll just need a couple of purple ones and we'll carry on. I'll have to buy some more beads. small purple if I can get it. I have to use the larger ones. There were some in there that just right at the bottom. Oh, there's a small one. And one more. Might be a bigger one. Yes, it is. Oh well, might have to use some big ones for purple. Right. Okay. No questions for now. No problem. Did you watch the tutorial on the baby bows with the Velcro? That's basically the same method for making these ones, but we haven't put the Velcro on the back. With just the bows. Right. So if you missed it before, new glue gun for my birthday. It was my birthday on Saturday. If you haven't seen the video for my birthday, then I did a small um, vlog video with my daughter. Go and check it out. So we just stuck a little pearl in the middle. Save the video, okay. Well, that shows you how to make these tiny bows. They're exactly the same, but we haven't put the Velcro on the back. And I've popped a little pearl on the front. So we're just gonna do that with all these. So yeah, I've got a new glue gun. This is the first time I've used it. And so far it's got a tiny drip. I'm not sure if that's because I've squeezed it too hard or if it's too hot. I've only just turned it on so it shouldn't be too hot. We'll see how I get on with it. <clears throat> really fiddly. Where are you from Kathy?
Oh, cool. Okay, let's read. Uh, do have a question. Ever print or stamp on bows? I've played with a few types of paints, but not thrilled with my results. Um, no, I haven't. Um, I haven't really seen anything like that before. What we usually tend to do here in uh, the UK is have vinyl transfers. I do a lot of bows with vinyl transfers. I do have some actually that I need to do. Um, I make cheer type bows. Um, and I've got a couple to do with names and unicorn ears and a horn above it. Um, so when I come to do that, I'll either make a video about it or go live. But basically, you just iron the transfers on. I've not done any printing. I'll have to have a look into into printing. I suppose you'd have to use a sort of maybe a silk um, satin kind of ribbon. I would have presumed because gross grain has got the ridges in. So I wouldn't have thought that would be very good for printing onto. But no, I've never printed my own ribbon, the patterns onto ribbon. Maybe I'll YouTube it and have a look and see if anyone else has done it, see what kind of results they get. But yeah, mainly in the UK we use um, vinyl, hot heat, heat vinyl where you iron or press with um press with heat don't know if you use irons in the US do you vinyl's really easy to work with there's some fabrics it won't really adhere to But I find I do some suede fabric and we iron onto the suede fabric and that doesn't peel or come off and gross grain it doesn't either. I don't know if you've seen my Facebook page, if you search for Ellie Pops Bespoke on Facebook, all of the bows that I make are on there. I do a lot of dance school bows and personalised bows. Okay, so now we have the bow, we're going to put one of each colour on each side of the bow. Don't see them here, wow. I would have thought they'd have been quite big, but maybe that is a, a UK thing. I'll definitely do a video on vinyl bows then. I just presume they're big everywhere, so. But yeah, I'll I'll do a video on how to do the vinyl. I have I don't cut the vinyl myself. I have a lady who I place orders with, and she sends the vinyl to me because uh, I haven't got a computer or the cutting machine to make them. So she makes them for me, and then sends them to me and I iron them onto the bows. So yeah, we'll do. A, I'll do a video on that, definitely. Right, so what we do, I've split the bow into half. So it's just two loops. And what we're gonna do is put the small bows, sort of corresponding colors onto it. So we have a section there that's orange. So we're gonna stick an orange bow on it. And there's a blue one. Maybe stick the orange up there because the yellow is more prominent there. So we'll find the best areas to stick them on to. And we'll go for it. So I'm going to stick the green one over here. So just put a little bit of glue. And then stick the bow, the small bow, onto it like that. These bows should be out in America. Clive accessories. 
I know they're about £10 each to buy here, which I think is about $13. So we're going to do three bows on each side. This glue is very stringy. I have to stick the glue sticks in the freezer for a while. Stop it from being stringy. Okay. Blue there. Okay, so that's one side done. So it looks like that. And we'll do the other side now. In the southern states is that sort of Texas way. So I know bows are big in Texas. In fact, I think most of the um, names that I put in my video is a big southern bows for that reason because bows bows are big in England but only really since I mean since dance moms when Jojo started wearing them um, that's when they became more popular for older girls bows in the UK we were really for babies <laughs> I never really liked big bows I um, I used to make small little bows like this for my daughter to wear when she was a baby um, it's only since I mean she's she's seven this year my daughter um, and she started wearing the Jojo bows. Well, everyone calls them Jojo bows here. If you tell someone that you make boutique bows, they haven't got a clue what you're talking about. What's a boutique bow? And if you explain it as it's a Jojo bow, then people know what you're talking about. But you wouldn't catch, say, a 10 year old with a, a boutique bow in before Jojo wore them. Not in the UK. So thanks Jojo for shooting to fame all over the world and helping me sell my bows. Because I don't think I would, I wouldn't even have a YouTube channel if, um, if it wasn't for the success of the Jojo bows. So my first ever video was how to make a Jojo bow for a lady who was struggling. Um, I seem to have just been able to do it, got the hang of it, and um, this lady couldn't do it at all. So she she asked, she messaged me and said, "Could you show me how to do it?" Um, and I said, "Yeah, sure, I'll do a video," but I couldn't share the video with her over Facebook; it was too big. So I said, "I'll, I'll create a, a YouTube channel. You can have a look on there." And it got so many hits. I just carried on. Right, so this is the bow. UK schools ban Jojo bows? Yes, they have. Well, 
some of them have. I'll show you this and I'll tell you about it. So as you can see, I've put this one here, but there's not one on this side, which I would like to try and make even. So I'm going to grab a bow, which will correspond with it. I'm going to go with blue. I'm going to make a little one. Okay, yeah, so a lot of schools in the UK, I think they're completely different to the US anyway. We have to wear uniforms. And um, our schools are run by our local councils. And the councils give the money and the funding to the schools. Um, and a lot of schools have now turned into academies, which is where a group of businesses own the schools, um, not the council. Um, and academies are very strict with uniforms and policies, haircuts. Even if a, if a, a boy goes to school with um, design shaved into the hair, they go into isolation where they have to sit in a room on their own or they'll get expelled from school until they have it shaved out or until it's grown out. Um, that's more in high schools rather than primary schools. But um, no makeup for girls, no earrings um, other than studs, no colours in the hair or big bows. They're allowed to wear small or medium sized hair bows that are the colour of the uniform and nothing bigger. There's been a couple of girls at our school today that have been told off for wearing bows and there was one little girl, the uniform in our school is um, navy blue so we can wear any sort of shade of blue as long as it's close to the uniform and um, we could wear grey as well, or black or white, but we're not supposed to deviate from those colours. And this only came effect, in effect from when we went back to school in January. There was a little girl today gone into school and she has a blue bow in, but it had mermaids on it. And she's been told off and been told to take it out of her hair. Um, whereas my daughter went to school with a blue ombre um, tux bow, pinch bow, and she hasn't been told off. So... That one should be okay. But yeah, she would, before Christmas, she would go to school with a bow like this in her hair. I mean, the rules, not really, the rules they haven't changed much. I mean, we have uniform, we have to wear uniform. That's always been the same. Um, but now they've changed it, so the girls have to go to school with their hair up. If they go to school with their hair down, um, the teachers say it's dangerous for them to play um, with their hair down. So at playtime, or recess I think you call it, playtime, they have to stay in. They can't go out and play because it's dangerous to have your hair down and play. It's silly little rules like that. Um, I think it's to stop head lice from spreading and things like that too. So. I mean, it's not a problem for us. Ellie never went to school with her hair down anyway because I didn't want her to get head lice. Um, her hair gets knotty if she's at school and it's down. So she always goes with her hair up anyway, so that's not really a problem for us. The hair bow, she used to like to choose whichever one she wanted. The bigger and the, the more, more colourful, the better. But what I've done now is I've just separated her bows in her bedroom into a bow holder that has navy white black grey and other shades of blue bows on it and she gets to choose one of those in the morning and then when she comes back and she has to go to dancing um i have to change her hair into a, a bun and she can choose whichever bow she wants to put in there but again she's not allowed to wear a big one for dancing so just a small one but at weekends she gets free reign to do what she likes which usually is have her hair down because she has to have it up all week um but other than that the schools aren't too strict We've always had to wear uniform from starting school at primary age. Um, our children, I don't know how old you have to be to go to school in the US, but our kids start school in nursery when they're three or four, and then they go into reception um, when they're four and five, and year one when they're five and six. Uh, year two is six and seven. 
which is what my daughter's in at the minute. So I'm not sure how school years work in America. But yeah, we have to start, they have to start wearing uniform from the age of three. So it's not a big thing. It's just, I think it's a silly rule. I don't think a big colourful hair bow is going to stop them from doing the work. So, but we'll stick to it. We don't want her to be in trouble at her age. She'll, she'll be very unhappy if she gets in trouble. She doesn't want to stay in at playtime. She wants to go out and play with her friends. So we just stick to the rules. Right, I have to make now. So that was the um, Sweet Life Jojo Bow, which is currently in Claire's Accessories. Not sure how much in the US, but in the UK they're £10. This is for an order for a lady, so that one's done. I now have to make a bow holder and a matching bow. So we're going to do... Jojo ones. The same lady also wants two of the, she wants the bow holder with the Sweet Life bow, so I need to make two more of those, but I'm going to leave that for later because I don't have any more of the rainbow bows here. I'm just going to grab a couple of hair clips. baby pink ribbon on this one so I'll make sure we have some of that five and six year old but now I think they're all going to be pre-kindergarten and preschool and that's three and four I think here in Claire's are sixteen dollars wow sixteen dollars I think we're ten pounds in our Claire's accessories um but you can't get hold of them they're sort of limited edition you can't get hold of them at all. But $16, that's very expensive for a hair bow. I sell them on my Facebook page for £5, which I think is around $7. I'm not sure what the exchange rate is at the minute. It might be a little bit less. I don't make any bows that are more than £5. Am I too cheap? Maybe I need to put my prices up. Right, I just need to go and grab some pink ribbon. I'll show you what I was doing earlier as well, Kathy. I was doing my daughter's dance costume. So what I've done is I've put rhinestones all over it. Put rhinestones down the skirt, around the edges, on the net. And I've just been putting them on this part. And on the body. So she sparkles on stage for a dance competition. She'll be happy with that. It is a lovely dress. The dance teachers actually asked for her to um, have um, a custom made costume, which is gonna cost about a hundred pounds. Maybe that's about $130. Um, and that one I think I got from eBay for £15. I don't know conversion rates, that might be about $20, a bit less than $20. Um, and then I've stuck the rhinestones on to make it look a little bit more sparkly on stage and when she's wearing it she looks really good. She's had a dance for maybe a year now. I don't know how dance works in America but in the UK they start in a novice section um, and she, I think she started doing that one in baby section. I think she only ever came fourth place, third or fourth place, and she was really persistent with it. It wasn't a favourite dance. 
it's a modern dance that she has to Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, and then she moved up into the Juvenile Novice, which is for ages six to nine year olds. And we went to a competition and she did really, really good and she got first place. So now she is in the open section, which is for six and seven year olds. But all the girls in the open section have one gold. So it's a bit tougher, but there's less of them in there. Um, a novice section has maybe 15 or 20 competitors and an open section has usually around 10, maybe less. So, but it's tougher. So um, hopefully the sparkle will make her feel a bit better. But we've been practicing and practicing and she's done it really well. And we have a competition on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. And we've got two competitions running alongside each other. I am extremely proud of her. She's so done so well. She's She's been dancing since she was two. But we only started on the competition team um, October 2016. So she was five when we started on the competition team. And she has a classical ballet solo, a modern solo and um, a song and dance, which is her ultimate favourite. She absolutely loves a song and dance. First time she ever danced that, she got gold. She won first place. She's so confident with it. Um, a ballet, she's also won gold. She's won, she's only won one trophy, but it was for the highest mark in song and dance in the whole competition. So I'm super, super proud. Again, I don't know how dance comps work in America, but um, I kind of like how they work over here. But we have two dance competitions running not heist mark, sorry, that's my accent. The highest mark. She got the highest mark. The top mark. <laughs> and that was a shock as well. No one knows who gets those until the actual trophy presentation. Um, and then you get to find out what you win. If anything. We didn't. We knew we weren't going to get a trophy because you have to have three dancers in the same category to win a trophy. So she needs to. She needed to have three dancers in the open section, and she didn't. She had one dance in the novice section and two dancers in the open section, which meant we weren't going to get a trophy. But we went to the competition anyway to support all our teammates and they called her name for the highest mark for song and dance, which was super amazing. So she got a trophy for that. That's the first trophy that she got. Um, and since then she got first place for her modern um, and then won a trophy for that. So she's super proud. I'm really, really proud of her. But we do have two dance competitions coming up this weekend, well, from Sunday to Wednesday, in two different places. So on Sunday, we have a competition in the morning for her to do her ballet. And then a couple of hours later, we need to be at another competition about half an hour away to do her ballet again and then stay at that same competition and about an hour after that she has a song and dance um, and then she she also has a duet with a best friend um, so she'll be doing that I think that's on Monday and a couple of championships as well so fingers crossed for her but she does have a brand new ballet dance um, and she did it in class Yesterday we had a rehearsal at a dance studio and she had to do it in front of all the girls on the competition team. All sat in a room, there were about 30 people, maybe a little bit more, and she forgot it and she cried and it was so heartbreaking. But we're practicing and practicing and practicing at home. So, fingers crossed, we'll see how she goes. Right, so if you've watched one of my previous videos that I've done live, You'll see that I made these Jojo bows, but I never finished them off. So what I've done now is I've just put 
some ribbon. Prayers for championship. Yeah, they're super hard. But our dance teacher wants us to um, to enter them. She thinks she's good enough. So fingers crossed. We can only hope. She tries her best, and that's all that matters to me. So we've put the thing in the middle, and this lady doesn't want this one as a bow. She wants it as a bow holder. So I've got some two-inch wide ribbon. All I've done is literally done it to the length of that. And I just stick that on the back there. But I also need a loop. Use this satin. So I'll stick a loop. stick this loop to the back of the bow then we're going to stick the tail hanging out the bottom and it's going to be a quick simple bow holder so we've made a loop make sure we get it the right way around I'm going to glue that onto there so she's requested the bow holder and then she wants the matching Jojo bow. Oh, that glue's hot. Okay. Very stringy. Right, so that's going to go on there. I'm going to put some... Um, felt on it as well to cover up the, the look of it. So now we'll get this two inch ribbon, put some glue on the back of that one. That's like that. I will get the rhinestones and put the little charm on as well. But basically, there's the bow holder. I need to try and stop that from falling forward. I might have to glue that up there a little bit more. All the lighters here are childproof paint ears, are they? I mean, they're not allowed to sell them in the shops here to under 18s, but they're not childproof. So, all it is, and you literally just press that down. So this is a candle lighter. A normal lighter, like a cigarette lighter, would be. Um, you have to push it against a flint. Kids can't really do those ones. Okay. So there's the bow holder. Now we're gonna do the matching bow. I'll probably put a little pink bow on the end of there actually. Have one here. So this is just one inch ribbon. Made bow holders for three grand to Princess Elsa two two years ago. That's a simple and pretty one you just made. They're really simple but really effective and they're quite strong as well. I actually I usually make I make them and do the bow holders that look like tutus. So it has a, a soft padded top. Um made from foam with fabric over it in the shape of the top of a body and then I glue tool to the bottom of it to make a tutu skirt and then put some strands of ribbon down for the bows to clip to 
my daughter's got one of them but they take ages and ages to make these ones are just really simple can hang them anywhere So many differences in the US and the UK. I have some family that live in Texas. I'm sure it's Texas where they live. And things that I see her put on Facebook and things that I put on Facebook that she we both just find each other very strange. It's like at Christmas, we have Christmas crackers on our table as a Christmas tradition. Every year, Christmas crackers. There's no, it's nothing special about it. When you have your Christmas dinner on Christmas day, um, you have a cracker. Um, you pull, I don't know how you pull them in the US, but in the UK, when you have a Christmas cracker, you hold the end, someone else holds the other end, and you both pull on it and whoever gets the majority with the prize in it and the hat um, wins the prize and she had some on Christmas Day and she said it was a a treat and they're called poppers taking wire out of two inch wide furry Christmas ribbon from Michael's craft store see we don't have a Michael's here we're not very good for craft stores in the UK We have hobby craft, um, the range, but they don't really do lots, and that's about it. We don't really have many craft stores. We have to get a lot of things off eBay or China or independent sellers. I hope I've put that on the right. Yes, I have. Okay, so I've just put a little bow on the bottom. Chat is working, but the video is frozen. I don't know if that's at your end. I've got the video going on my iPad here and it's still working. Let me know if it comes back on or not. So if you can hear me. Wow, I've been on 80 minutes. Okay. We'll go for an hour and a half. I'll do another 10 minutes and then we'll stop. Otherwise the video is going to be far too long. And people won't want to watch it back. See if I can chat on the video. And that's the bow holder made. So that's the top. That's the bow. Let's have a quick look on here. Working on phone must be the computer. <laughs> YouTube has been quite funny at the minute. Thursday night and Friday night, I could not get on the video. I could not do a live at all. It would not let me. I must have tried 30 times to do a live video. And it, every time I tried to upload, it got to six seconds And then it stopped and maybe 30 times I had to do that it wouldn't work and the only way I could get it to restart was to delete YouTube from my phone turn my phone off 
ow that's hot and then um, reinstall it all and then it started working again so it's not working on my iPad now just so you know as well Kathy Jen is me <laughs> it's my personal YouTube account my daughter goes on it on um, on her iPad which is what I'm using to look at your comments so I've just put a 65mm alligator clip on the back of this one now I'm putting the ribbon around the middle and this will completely set right so it's not working on there anymore There we go, we're back to working. <laughs> it froze on my um, iPad just then as well, so I wonder if uh, YouTube are doing something with some of the servers. Hey ho, should work. Should be able to watch it back anyway. Right. Only thing I haven't done, because I haven't got them down here, I'm going to have to dig them out. Um, I put a little gem on there, like the the uh, Jojo ones. But it's just a, a little rhinestone. Well, quite a large rhinestone. But there we go. The Jojo bow. The matching bow holder. I'm going to put a little bit of... Have I got any? No, I'm not going to do that tonight either. Usually I put a little bit of felt over the back of there just to neaten it up. It might not need it actually. It looks quite nice. It's quite neat on the back. So, the lady who's ordered this one also wants one of the Sweet Life bows and a matching bow holder. Which I really can't be bothered to make tonight. I'm going to make those tomorrow and get them posted to her. Um, so I need to make two more of those. What I'm going to do now, I'm only going to stay live for another five minutes or so because it's been an hour and a half. I only usually do an hour on live. Um, I need to make a <clears throat> badge for a doll. Ellie's friend at dancing is doing a song for her song and dance called Brother for Sale. I don't know if you know it from the Olsen twins. No problem, Cathy. I'll go live again um, another day. Can't tomorrow because I'm at a baby shower. Uh, but Wednesday, I'll be live again. I'll create a live thing on the um, on my YouTube for you to subs uh, subscribe to or add a reminder to. I think when it's on there, you can go to it and it says go live. So I'll put one on there. And it will notify you when I'm on. So if everyone's gone, I'm going to finish up this video only because it is now quarter to 11 and I want to watch the new episode of The X-Files before I go to bed. So, thank you so much Facebook, I don't go on so YouTube is great. Oh that's fine then, I did mention earlier find my um, Facebook page and go on there but obviously if you don't use Facebook, um, anything you want to do, I mean all these comments in the live chat will disappear um, when this uploads to YouTube so anything you want to ask just put in the comments and I'll answer any questions so if you want me to do the vinyl bows just pop a comment on it to remind me to do a video on vinyl bows um, I don't know if I'll do it on a live um, or if I'll just do a video but vinyl bows and any other kinds of bows any questions anything that you want me to do a video on pop in one of the comments of any of my videos. I read all the comments and, and um, reply back wherever I can. So just pop comments anywhere, anything you want to see, and I'll do it. So it's been really nice chatting with everyone today. Hope you can scroll up and read the comments before they disappear. I'll try and read everything. I think I've read everything. I've made a fuzzy white pinch bows by taking 
wire out of wired two inch white furry Christmas ribbon. I read that one, I think. I think I've read all the comments. If there's anything you think I've um, missed, pop it in the comments when the video goes up. But all the live chat comments disappear. So, oh, ribbon storage. I covered this in one of my other live videos if you want to go back and watch that. Um, but basically, I just use these. They're called Really Useful Box. And I just have these stacked up everywhere. Have loads of them. That's all I use. But I tend not to have lots and lots and lots of ribbon. I just put a label on what they are so I can see. But they're all, if you can see, they're all just in there on reels. I tend to use all my ribbon sort of pretty much straight away. I know which colours are um, most popular and keep those in stock. Pink, blue, navy, red, white, purple and any other colours I buy as and when I need them. But printed ribbon as well. I don't store stock a lot of printed ribbon. But yeah, I just use these really useful, it's called a really useful box. That's the actual brand, really useful box. I don't think you can see it on there. See on the really useful box. So that's what I use for those. And then I just stack them. Thank you very much, Kathy. It's been lovely chatting with you today. And Josephina, I know she had to go because the battery died. Yeah, I've got some black ones, blue ones, pink ones, but the clear ones are the best, obviously, because you can see through them. But um, yeah, just clip top boxes um, and the reels stack in them quite nice. And if they come off the reels, I'll then just pile them up. And because you can see through them, you can see where the colours are as well. Um, and I've got some full of beads, um, some full of embellishments, uh, some full of hair elastics and clips. I'm going to just set, I'll just keep them all separate. So in these boxes, I've got three eighths, one inch, two inch. And three inch I've got separate boxes well, maybe two boxes per per thing but yeah anything else you want to know just in the comments like I say please do put a comment on to remind me about the vinyl bows so I can um, do a video on the vinyl because once I've slept tonight I probably forget I've got a million things to do so it's been really lovely chatting to you but I'm gonna go and watch the X Files now so thank you very much and I'll see you in my next video, hopefully. Bye.